Hey everyone, Sky from Nifty here, and today we're going to talk about swim lane view. Swim lane is a hybrid milestone and task view that segments your milestones by your task lists. So first let's start by looking at this project milestones and timeline view, just so we can get a high level sense of our structure. We're using a scrum development workflow in this use case, somewhat, we can actually see there's some waterfalling and, and a little bit of overlap here, but it's just a good way of visualizing our project here. We have a bunch of dependencies set, so we can expect that the tasks within these milestones are gonna be locked until this milestone is complete. So we have a good sense of what we're looking at from a timeline perspective. Now, if we were to go to our task board, we'll see that we have a pretty deep to-do list here. And just because the way this one team is working, we have these other task lists as statuses in progress in QA. Now you might be using lists a little bit differently. You might be breaking these out by designer, developer, roles, stuff like that, or maybe something completely different, and that's okay. Now, the beauty of swim lane view is it's gonna make this to-do a little bit more approachable because what we're really gonna be able to do is now segment all of these different to-do tasks by different sprints. So we can see what do we really need to focus on in this sprint versus upcoming sprints. And so we can run our typical workflow here with our automated task lists, making sure the people who are assigned to these task lists are automatically assigned to the tasks. And when we complete them, we will see that milestone progress reflect in real time. And let's just do that again so we can see the bar move. <clears throat> So again, really great way to manage this. Now, we looked at before how we have those dependencies in place, so these lists are locked. But let's just unlock one so we might see what it looks like to be running these milestones in tandem. Let's say we don't actually need a dependency here. So we want to start completing these tasks at the same time as these. And again, this is hybrid, so we can access swim lane here. So now we can actually really segment what we're doing here. We can run both of these funnels at the same time with extreme ease and it's a lot easier than just maybe filtering by milestone one at a time on our Kanban board. And the beautiful thing is, since we still have a dependency set here, once these are unlocked, we can see all of these tasks open up. So it's a great way to just segment that Kanban board by milestone, even if you just wanna run one milestone at a time or if you're running a bunch of concurrent milestones. Hope this helps.